I believe something can make the comics boom a lot further than they're already doing right now. And it's something that's actually going to be implemented in the next few months, and especially with the progression over the next few years, this might become something that a lot of people are after to show off. So let's get started on that. Welcome everyone, my name is Andy and I appreciate you taking some time out of your day to come and watch this video on the channel. Just before we get started, if you do enjoy the content and you want to learn more about the finance, NFT and crypto space, then you can hit that subscribe button. And if you want to support me further, you can join the membership too. Right, comics are already amazing. We've had Marvel release their comics, the first ever comics that Marvel released on the VV platform. We can now read them in AR and it has really been amazing to see what we can do with them as we're sort of progressing into this digital world. But VV have also mentioned that in their last AMA, the comics and showrooms are very close to the end of the development. We will release more info in the next few weeks, comics on walls, readable in the showroom, and we can't wait for it. So we have seen that comics are now going to be able to be presented on the walls of your VV vault, as well as being readable in the showroom. And this is actually going to add a lot more functionality to what comics are as a whole. One of the big things that you can see from physical collectors, or for those that I've spoken to when it comes to physical comic books, is that they often have a room or a space where they show those off, what they have, their collection, and, and really what it is. And I think this is going to allow people to really show off what they have and get a sort of boom within the comics because of this. Showrooms have got a small percentage of dedicated people called the Vaultaholics who are just insane when it comes to the stuff that they can do in the showrooms. But what this also does is allows them to show off the collectibles that they have to the wider space that don't actually have VV just yet. So some people who are seeing VV for the first time could see that you could use these NFTs in your showroom, you could have them there, and that can create some form of FOMO and some form of desire to buy an into something like that. And I know with the comics, that's going to be the same. So far, all we've been able to do with the comics is read them in AR. That's really the only thing we can do and maybe read them not with an AR as well. We can flick the pages in the normal screens. But if we can now have it in the showroom where we have 50 of the same comic all in the one place, all of them lined up in order of rarity and creating something like a room or a space dedicated to the comics and what they are, I think this is going to offer a whole new avenue to what comic book collectors can do in the digital world. I've seen that when people are showing off their showroom and have things that are happening, there's people in the comments speaking about how they need to buy that collectible or they really want that for their vault too. It will be the same for the comics. People will see the layouts that those can do in their vaults, see the differences that Vivi can produce when it comes to that and then want to get in. Therefore, making people buy into the comics, having different rarities and having different variations for certain places in their vault to really show off what they have. I think this is especially going to be the case when the web version comes out, because I know for me personally, I've not really looked at the vault that much on the mobile version. My phone isn't great. I've got an iPhone 7. It can't really do all the things in the vault without my phone crashing. But I know once we get to the web version, that's going to be a bit different. I'm probably going to spend a lot more time in my vault making sure it looks cool and having all my stuff there. And I know for a fact that I'm going to have a space dedicated to the comics that I have. I've also spoken about before that people want to collect one of every comic. So imagine seeing that all across the walls in the vault of one of every single comic that someone has. That level of sort of status is something people want. They want to have something like that. They want to be able to show off what they've got. In allowing this in the vault, you can do exactly that. As we progress further forward, I feel Vivi could do some other things to make the comics even better than they already are. And they've discussed it before, but it's not really been discussed as of recently. And that is the degrading of the comics that you have themselves. Now, how they would degrade, I'm not actually 100% sure or the best way to go about doing it. But if you can set up your vault the way a sort of physical one would, where rarity can be determined even further by the grading of the comic, you could then have certain areas in your vault where you have the grading of 10 comics, you have ones at 9.8, the ones have below 9, and over time, they become something that are more sought after. The price goes up or down depending on the level of rarity and also how degraded it actually is. How it would degrade, again, I'm not 100% sure, but I think adding this sort of different area to the comics themselves can then create more scarcity and more hype for the ones that are really at that top level. Again, that's 
may be a discussion to have at another time, as it can be quite hard to do. Some people are for the degrading of them, other people are really against it. Because I understand that NFTs are different in the form that physical copies can degrade and just do degrade over time purely based on the longevity of you having them and if you don't look after them, whereas digital assets don't really have that same thing. But it could be an avenue that Vivi could go into and would actually create some more form of FOMO and some more of a boom when it comes to the comics at the higher grading levels. Right now, people are grading comics based on the mint number and obviously the rarity of them if it's a secret rare it's more likely going to cost more than the common but they could add something in there that allows the degrading to add more significant value to the comics and therefore when people are showing them off have that sort of status symbol of owning 9.8s or 10 gradings of them so vivi can figure out a way to make comics have a grading some sense where it's actually solidified as this is how we grade the comics this is how they are graded just like in the real world then that could really make a run-up for the comics especially those that are sought after more than others eventually we're going to be able to visit each other's vaults so by being able to go into other people's vaults, see what they're doing, see what they're collecting, maybe when they purchase things, what mint they've got and all that sort of stuff, you're really adding a more personal touch to people's vaults, what they own, what they have and bringing more into the collection side of things. Because I know if I'm seeing other people's vaults, I'm seeing what they've done with their vault, I'm going to take inspiration from them. I'm going to be buying up some other things that work for me just because it might tweak my vault a little bit more. And I feel when the comics are added to the showrooms and you can really show them off in different ways, people are going to come up with some incredible ways to show them off and bring in a little bit of FOMO for that. And we're taking it even further in the future when we've got things like the Viviverse and it's solidified as what it is, we've got millions of users on them. People can set up things like comic book stores, renting out the comics for that particular thing, having the social aspect actually all be brought together. It's so interesting the possibilities that things like this can actually have and it all starts somewhere and I think having them in the showrooms does exactly that. Imagine being able to show off all of the comics in your comic book store, you're renting them out, people are coming together to talk with one another and so much more. There really is a lot that can go on here and I think once we have the comics in the showrooms, people are going to see they're going to have even more utility in the future. They're going to be something that people will be more sought after. And when we look at things like maybe the ultra rare comics, the ones that are designed by Vivi themselves, some of those are the most beautiful comic covers on the platform, even better than the original and better than the secret rares. So I see that maybe shifting some of the prices in the comic books and actually allowing people to buy more in this instance. Comic books have already taken a massive rise. It's not like some of them are completely undervalued. Definitely amazing to to see some of them are now getting the value that they deserve. We've seen Marvel Comics 1 reaching 300. We've seen Amazing Spider-Man and Fantastic Four both surpassing 100. So it really is amazing to see that these sort of S or A sort of comics in that instance are actually getting up there. And I think this addition to the showroom is just going to solidify that even further. TV have already spoken about with MCP Pro being able to show off your mint number and rarity within your vault. And I think having the comics do the exact same is just going to add to the significance of what comics actually are. Right now, they might not have as much functionality as maybe some of the collectibles. Yes, you can read them, which is fantastic, but imagine the time when we get social aspects involved with it. People can come around and see your vault and see what it's doing. They can, they can see the comics in your vault. They can see the mint number. You've got your vault really stacked out because you've worked on it a little bit and you can have people sort of visiting all across the world, seeing what you've created and just how amazing it actually is. You know, for me, I have about an 80-20% split right now when it comes to collectibles to comics and I'm probably going to try to up that a little bit more because I feel once the showroom is there and once the showroom is actually active comic books are going to take a price jump just because people are now going to see that they're able to style out their vault with the comics that they have there's a lot of things people will be able to do with them and I can't wait to see it but what about yourself do you think the comics will rise once the showroom is available and everyone's able to put them in their vaults and show off on social media or do you think it won't actually change the prices that much I'd love for you to let me know down in the comments I know the video on the screen right now will be something you'll love to watch. Have a fantastic day.